Sorry I have my mic muted. I did not realize that I did. I really hope I didn't have my mic muted for the entire video. Otherwise, it's bad. There we go, first score of the game. Yeah, kick off. Now apparently you can kick about half as far as the other team now. Because that seems totally fair. You can only kick to you can only kick to the thirty, but they can kick to the ten. It's completely fair, guys. No bot hacks involved here. Doo 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 doo. Now that they're finally using more normal seeking patterns, I can easily destroy them. It's always kind of annoying when they break the pattern, though. Which is surprising because you would think that all they would be able, that all programmers would be able to do is, pro is code in like a pattern that they follow for where it, for where they. Wherever they are specifically on the field, like if they're close, if they're close to the right side of the field, if they're closer to the right side than the left side, then they'd automatically go right. And if you're closer to the left side than the right side, you'd automatically go left. But you'd think that that would be all they would be able to code with, with uh, how, with how making a game was, was during this time. It was pretty, pretty complicated. And it took a lot longer than it does now. There's also, there also wasn't, like, amateur video game making things for free. Which there is lots now. I mean, like, I'll spend some time just, just when I'm bored on Blender making the animation. I'll never release it because it's awful, but... Like, it looks really bad. Ooh, first down. Let's go. So yeah, in case you can't tell, this is a lot calmer than our multiplayer videos because we're constantly screaming at each other because we're never on, on the same team and it's usually worse if we're on the same team. For something, like if we're doing co-op, uh, someone always ends up getting yelled at. Yeah, I don't do- I'm not going to do a lot of single player videos just cause, I don't know, I don't know how- how well I can explain it. But it just- it just, uh, feels weird. I mean, it doesn't feel as natural as most player videos. I can still do them cause I am doing them now. But it won't be a lot. Unless it's like a game I love, like Sonic Colors. It was like the first, <coughs> first Sega game that I ever played it, for the Wii, and it's, I still I still have very fond memories of it. Which I will do that at some point, but I need to get I need to get like a actual Wii controller and a Dolphin Bar so that I can experience it for real. Remember just how good it was. I also, I also, my first Kirby game, what, the first Kirby game that I ever played was Kirby 64 on the Wii. Because I bought it from the virtual, because I bought it as a virtual console game. And I still, I still love that game. It is one of the best Kirby game, Kirby entries in the franchise. Al along with Return to Dreamland And Superstar. In my opinion, don't don't think this is like the official list or anything, because my opinion is most likely very flawed. I mean, I mean, I don't know how many people will, will like me saying this, but I think Mass Attack was one of the better Kirby games because I had that for the original DS. This and I had it up until a year ago, so I had it for like five years, and I beat it like four times. But, I, but it was also technically my first rail shoot, not rail shoot, horizontal, scrolling shoot, scrolling shoot, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say.
because it had a mini game that was a scrolling shooter in it. And scrolling shooters are some of my favorite video games because scrolling shooters are freaking awesome. Especially like a like the more recent 3D ones like Sin like a Sin Sin and Punishment Star Successor. I always want to say Sin Star, but that's a totally different thing. And also and also underrated gems like 1942 also for the NES made by Capcom. And that's a great game, but it's not but you don't hear about it a lot cuz it cuz not only was it released for the NES, it wasn't a big success. Ooh, go, go, go. Yes! Touchdown! I feel like I'm getting way too excited that I scored. Oh crap, I gotta kick it. <gasps> okay, that was like freaking close. Oh, it scared me. I'm gonna be honest, that really kind of scared me. But I think I'm doing pretty good as, as a playoff team. Or against the playoff team. But so wait, would anybody like to see me do do some some just some like a if I was ever able to able to get it hooked up some just dance videos? Cause I can do some cause I can look really stupid wearing a headset and dancing. Like legit, if anyone would want to see that, please comment down below. Cause I will do that. I'm not sure how quickly I can get that all set up. I will, however, at any time, hook up, try, buy some rock band stuff and hook it up to, hook it up using the dolphin bar, because I love rock band. That was the first PlayStation game that I played. And it was like a PlayStation game that I played constantly. Like, if I wasn't on my Wii, I would, I would play, I would play Rock Band for the PlayStation. But I never had a GameCube, but I did have a, but I did, but because I had one of the Wiis with GameCube compatibility, I play, I was able to play GameCube games, like I played Sunshine on it, I think. I don't know, that, that one's a bit less clear. I don't completely remember if I played Sunshine on it, but I do know for a fact that I played Luigi's Mansion on it. And I love Luigi's Mansion, because Luigi is the best character in Mario. Like, it's an undisputed fact. Don't at me on this, but nobody likes Mario anymore. Because he's a friggin' raging narcissist. Okay, and if you want any proof, you can just look at Mar- You can just look at Mario- oh, when he congratulates Luigi and Mario Power Tennis, he friggin' steps on his foot. It, and, like, is smiling the entire way through it, but you can tell he's faking the smile. And everyone looks at Mario, and everyone is looking at Mario, confused on why he's doing it. Because he's mad that Luigi won and he didn't. Mm -hmm. It's taking like 10 minutes to walk. Wow. It's gameplay. But again, it's again like editing these videos takes a while. It takes a while, so I'll film them. So I'll film them. And, oh yeah, this is some some behind the scenes stuff. I'll film like I could end up filming like three a day, three in a day, and then it could take me three days to edit all three of them because I have to because I go through and I determine what needs to be edited and then I edit it. And it takes like an, and it, because I'm using Shotcut, which is cheap. Well, not even it's not even cheap. It's free. But it's not, it's not as good as, like, Final Cut Pro or anything like that. Or Vegas. But, but it works for now. But, it is seri- it's seri- it works, but it takes forever because you have to splice clips, and then- Because, like, you- not splice, you have to split clips at the playhead in order to do anything to just one clip. And it takes- and it forgets- and, like, you have to get the exact time point of where- what you want to start at and where it ends. So like that's why you'll see uh, in some of the videos it'll go, it'll go from it'll start with like one si one syllable of a word and then it'll cut to the next 
and then it'll go to the next in the text because I accidentally split it too too late or too early. Well, I, no, it wouldn't matter that much if I split it too early. Me, I I just have to uh, I just have to undo that. But then, but if I split it too late, then I have to split it again where it starts exactly. And now I'm just ranting about the problems of editing. Which I mean, I I could get someone else to do it, but I just have no I just have nothing to do besides record these and also other things that aren't things. What am I? What? Okay, they they are things. No, man, not cool, not cool. Oh wow, I'm taking like my first kick in the like day. <laughs> Like usually, usually because I because I'm playing against crappy team, against the crappy easy teams, or I'm playing against John who never scores. I'm always taking the kickoff off to start the game because I'm usually player one because I run off of parse because I run it all off of parsec. Which it's a great it's a great on it's a great thing if you want to play if you want to play couch co-op up uh, with someone without without actually having to be on a couch. It's a great revolutionary program. I, it is, it, it is a constant. Like I always have it open. Wait, what's happening? Could it be? Could it be? The fabled, legendary. <gasps> it's gonna happen. It's gonna be legendary. Touchdown! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap, I just scored a touchdown on the kickoff and it took five minutes. Wow, it took five minutes to score that touchdown. That's honestly kind of sad. But that's because like a half is only ten minutes, so a minute is ten seconds, so that's like about a minute. No, it took like two minutes. I don't know, I don't I don't keep track of the time. Even though that's kind of my even though that's part of what I need to do plan accordingly, but I don't sometimes, and I do other times. I'm a big mess. Hey, anybody else Anybody else ever play the Zelda CDI games? That was a big mistake I made. Before MU, before MU Paradise shut down, I downloaded, I downloaded all three of the Zelda CDI games and a CDI emulator. It was the biggest mistake... Oh, actually, I also downloaded Hotel Mario, also a horrible game. But, it was probably one of the biggest mistakes I've made. So, that's fun. So, I actually just saw, just saw, there's, there's a thing that's selling these GameCube storage units. And, it's essentially, you can store all your physical copies of discs in it, and it's shaped like the GameCube logo. So... I, so, it looks really cool, I don't own, like, any physical copies of anything anymore, but if I, but if I, I, I have, like, three maybe, but I would totally buy that just for, for the look, because it looks friggin' awesome. Oh, wow, that's good, that's a nice throw, nice throw right there. Perfect, strike. Now let's not throw it to someone over there, because it's gonna get intercepted. And that's a first down, so that's nice. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of football. It's, I don't know. It seems really violent for no apparent reason. Baseball though is great. It's my favorite favorite sport to watch because it's slow slow pace, but it's still it's slow pace and understandable, but still fun enough that you're not falling asleep. Which that's a common misconception about baseball is that it's so boring it'll make you want to sleep. Which is not true, because you have great because you have intense pitching battles like uh, I once sat behind home plate when Chris Sale was was pitching. I mean, not not this year's Chris Sale, la uh, two years ago. Oh, amazing Chris Sale, like Cy Young, Cy Young Chris Sale. Well, and that was great because you could see the pitch move, move, and he has some some serious movement on his pitches. But like a uh, and and then they brought out Kimbrel to close. So 
But let's let's not talk about let's not talk about other stuff cuz I could get sued. Not really. I don't know. I don't know how I don't really know how how YouTube's copyright works. Like can you can you talk about it but can you not show an actual video of it or can you not talk about it at all and if you do you get you get a, a copyright strike. I it doesn't it's not very clear on what does and does not count as a copyright strike. Or I just haven't looked at it close enough, which is probably what's happened because I haven't exactly looked at it because I don't really want to, because I'm not really going to end up putting any copyrighted stuff in. Besides maybe some, maybe some accidentally copyrighted photos for the editing. And now that you've seen me say copyright multiple times. Alright, let's go. Five minutes left in the half, like that. No! What? He moved! He's not supposed to do that. He's not supposed to do that. But I mean, it's a guaranteed win now, because they can't get... Because they can't score four times in five, in five minutes. So, 50 seconds. About. But uh, soccer's also fun, also fun to watch. They make way better video games of it, though. And same with basketball. Basketball video games are better than act some are sometimes better than watching the sport on TV. Hockey, same same with hockey. It's much it's much more fun to play to play a video game of the sport than watch it on TV. But all of those are way better to watch in person. Like it's extremely better, especially if like in basketball you have uh, courtside seats aren't actually aren't amazing because. I don't. I don't know. You don't get much of a. You don't get as much of a viewpoint. But uh, I mean, there. It's fun to sit like right by the players. But it, if you're wanting to watch a good game of basketball, well, I'd rather sit a few rows be behind, still at the bottom, but not right courtside. And also, the chairs aren't exactly as comfortable. But you do get to be on TV for like half the broadcast to like a million people. Well, looks like that's gonna close out the game. It's just one last possession for them. We're just gonna all run out because the referee doesn't want to move. So this is the last play of the game, guys. Last play of the video. Okay, I want to. I want to know. I want to legitimately know this from. The from the comment section, would anybody watch if I did a Twitch live stream? Just by myself or with someone, either way, would anyone watch me do a Twitch live stream? Like, I honestly want to know. But, it's, it's that time again, folks. The end of the video. So, thank you for watching. As always, like and subscribe, and comment down below your opinion on that live stream thing, or the Just Dance thing that I mentioned way earlier. But, thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for another video, because I think there should be another one coming up. And again, thank you for watching. Goodbye!